good morning. We are here at the grocery store. I do not usually grocery shop this early in the morning. It is 7.54, but this time we are limited to one car and Silas needs it. So I had to get out. I have Danny with me. We're going to a grocery shop for the week. I made myself a smoothie this morning. I love smoothies when I'm having to like get on it and get out the door. This one has frozen berries, banana, collagen powder, almond milk, a little bit of yogurt and spinach, lots of spinach. And I thought it'd be fun this morning to take you along grocery shopping with me. Recently, I have changed up my meal planning and it is revolutionary, I think. So I'm gonna talk more about that later on. And I'll share everything that we get today for our week, kind of what meals I'm making. I have done online grocery shopping for a long, long time. But within the last month or so, I've started going to the store now that Danny can actually sit up in the cart. I've really enjoyed actually going and grocery shopping. And I like that it provides an opportunity to get out of the house. It's an opportunity for Danny to get out, for people to just kind of see him and talk to him. It's just a kind of fun way to get out of the house. I've really been enjoying grocery shopping in stores and I think I'll continue to do so, at least at this point, while it's very manageable. Online grocery shopping is definitely a lifesaver sometimes though and that was so nice when I had a newborn and when Danny was still like in the car seat, had to be in the car and then there's like no room for the groceries. So definitely a time and place for that but I'm enjoying just grocery shopping, just enjoying the experience. So I have my list here so let's go ahead and get started. actually just opened so we're like the first ones in here I'm getting strawberries on sale which is great I'm gonna try making a strawberry lemonade this week so I'm gonna get a couple I think three of these blackberries and a couple blueberries we love berries in our house and we also need to get some like kale mix for some coleslaw let's see I don't usually get this, so...
right, it is now 8.47, so I guess we were there for about an hour. I did not quite get everything on my list, so I usually do shop at a couple different stores to get everything. There's some things that I like at this store that I'm at now that are just better quality. So, Also, there were some things that that store didn't have, so I still need to get eggs, some organic cane sugar, croissants, chicken. I'm looking for a rotisserie chicken, but I don't think that they have them available until later in the morning. But I did actually just see a sign that um, whole chickens are on sale, so I might just get one of those. I need some coconut oil as well. So we have a few more things to grab, and then I will share everything that we got back at home. Actually, a few days later, I realized that all of my talking head videos that I filmed the other day about my meal planning were all in slow motion with no audio. So I'm trying again today and I want to talk to you all about meal planning and how I have changed things up recently in order to save money and reduce our food waste. I got married almost three years ago. So for almost three years now, I have been cooking, making our dinners, meal planning, grocery shopping, but it really hasn't been until recently that I feel like I'm actually starting to get a handle on it and figure out a system that I like and that works for us. So what I have started doing recently, what I've changed is instead of what I would usually do, which is to think about what meals you want to have that week and then make a grocery list based on those meals. Instead, I've been starting to work backwards. So I will take a look at what we already have in our fridge, freezer, pantry, take stock of ingredients that we have or things that we need to use up and then create meals around those items. For this week, so on Monday, I looked in our fridge, freezer, pantry and I saw that we had some vegetables to use up. We had a couple of bell peppers, we had some potatoes, some asparagus that was going to go bad soon, some lettuce. We have a deep freezer in our basement where we keep all of our meat and we get our meat from a local farm. So we have quite a stockpile, which is really helpful. So I can just go there, kind of pick some things to thaw out. And so this week we had some chicken breasts in there. I actually need to get more chicken, but we had a few. And then I also grabbed a pork shoulder, some sausages and some ground beef. So those were things that we already had. And I definitely want to use that meat before going and buying more. I also had some mozzarella cheese in the fridge that needed to be used up. And when I was looking in the freezer, I found some hamburger buns as well as naan bread. So immediately I thought, oh, mini pizzas. We can make pizzas. We'll use up this naan bread. We'll use um, some of the mozzarella and then add mushrooms. Oh, there was also mushrooms that were going to go bad soon. So I thought mushrooms would be great on the pizza. And then I saw those burger buns and I thought, okay, we have a pulled pork or a pork shoulder we can make pulled pork sandwiches and then we had some of the veggies that were like starting on the verge of going bad soon like the asparagus potatoes there was a couple carrots too bell pepper or two and I thought oh those are perfect to make like a sheet pan meal so I thought we would do mini meatloafs with those items as well as a sausage sheet pan meal which I actually did that night on Monday so I hadn't even really planned for that meal it just kind of worked out but all that to say, there's no way that I could have done that when I first started cooking because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have kind of a stockpile of recipes or even like a collection of recipes. It definitely took time to figure out what we liked to eat as a family and then just so many things to learn as far as cooking, like how 
how to cook and I've really learned a lot over the last couple of years so that now I can look at some ingredients and think of a meal and even be able to put that meal together without necessarily following a recipe sometimes. I, I still usually follow recipes but for something like a sheet pan meal that's a great way to just use up veggies and I just chopped them all up, added some olive oil and seasonings, threw them in the oven for like 40 minutes and it was a great meal. Same thing with little meatloafs. I thought, oh, I'll just add some barbecue sauce, some breadcrumbs, those things we already had on hand because we just keep those things in stock because we use them a lot as well as eggs and all of the seasonings that would go in meatloaf. And so that was a really quick and cheap meal that I could just put together. So taking into account the things that we already had, I made a grocery list of things that we would need for those meals. So for this week, I ended up deciding on the sausage sheet pan for Monday. Tuesday was a chicken Caesar salad because we had the lettuce to use up as well as the chicken from the freezer. Wednesday, I wrote down to do the mini meatloafs, the sheet pan. And then Thursday, I kind of factored in we would probably have some leftovers at that point. Friday would be the mini pizzas and then on Saturday, I'll make pulled pork sandwiches. And usually I do only plan about five meals per week because we have leftovers that we'll have the next day, usually like on Sundays after church. So that works out really well. So I'm really enjoying this method and I really want to keep it up because I've just seen how it just eliminates pretty much our food waste. And it also challenges me sometimes to be a little bit more creative, to figure out some things. I also um, put on my list to make chicken salad sandwiches. Usually in the week, I'll just plan like one lunch, one breakfast to make that will kind of last throughout our week. And then we'll just always have easy options for breakfast as well. But I wanted to make chicken salad sandwiches. And so I thought for our pizzas that we're gonna have on Friday, I would just use some of that chicken for the pizzas to put on top. And so I just think that when you kind of start with the ingredients, you have to be a little bit more creative and figure out ways to incorporate those things into your meals and maybe stretch them into other meals. And so I'm really excited to continue trying to do this. It just feels like a little bit of a challenge. But I would love to know from you as well, how do you meal plan? Do you plan on the weekend for the week? Do you even go like by two weeks or even a month i don't know does anybody meal plan for a month that seems like a lot but let me know what you do and what works for you i would love to learn from you as well but for now i'm going to jump back to tuesday and share what i got for my grocery pickup and then also put the groceries away and make a strawberry lemonade together so this is everything that we picked up the berries were on sale this day so i grabbed a couple of blueberries danny loves to eat those as well and we go through a lot of berries. I got strawberries for our strawberry lemonade and then some extra just for snacking on. And then I got lemons also for the strawberry lemonade. As far as other produce, I got carrots. We go through so many carrots and cucumbers are also great for snacking. Brussels sprouts I'm going to add to our sheet pan meal. And then I got celery for the chicken salad. And then also apples we'll use for the chicken salad. And also I will cook them up for Danny. He loves to eat apples and they're great for snacking on as well. I grabbed some onions. I always just stock up on onions, tomatoes, and sweet potatoes for our sheet pan meal. I got some crushed tomatoes for our pizzas and coleslaw for the sandwiches. And then some frozen berries we use for smoothies and things like that chocolate chips i got a couple of pantry items as well as chicken broth i do make my own chicken broth but i like to have a couple boxes just in case i run out and cream for my coffee i grabbed some more peanut butter this one is natural it's just peanuts which is really great i got some sparkling water for our lemonade and a bag of chips this is just the original um, with no flavor added and then milk butter and balsamic vinegar. I grabbed some eggs and then over here I got some coconut oil that I'll use for cooking and some croissants. I would love to make my own croissants but I have not yet so these store-bought ones will do for now and then I got some organic cane sugar as well as just the regular um, processed sugar so I will probably just mix these together kind of do a half and half situation We 
Before wrapping up, I thought it'd be fun to share this strawberry lemonade drink. It is a bit of a healthier option because it's sweetened with honey. And I was actually surprised on how good that it tasted. So I think I used about six or seven lemons, cut them up and um, squeezed the juice out. You want about a cup of lemon juice. And then I washed my strawberries. I used like one of the boxes from the store and then cut them into quarters. And then to a medium saucepan, I've added the strawberries. I added half a cup of honey as well as half a cup of water. And then I just heated those on medium heat. You want the strawberries to be a little soft but also for the honey to dissolve into the water. I'm using my immersion blender to blend up this strawberry mixture, but you could also use a regular blender. Just be careful because it is a little bit hot and then place it in the fridge to cool and then add your water. You're gonna add four cups. I added sparkling water and it was so delicious. Well, that's a wrap for today's video, friends. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this, if you enjoyed this kind of grocery shop with me style video. Thanks again for being here, for just joining me for a little part of your day. It really does mean so much, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.